Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we're going to study rational numbers. What is a rational number? The name kind of tells you if you can write a number as a ratio of two integers, then it is a rational number. So the rational comes from ratio. If you've studied ratios, you remember they were things like 3 to 5, 4 to 7, 7 to 4, whatever. And we often write ratios using a fraction line. So, actually, rational numbers end up being fractions. Here's some examples. 6 over 7, or the ratio 6 to 7, or the fraction 6 sevenths. 3 tenths. And negative 4 divided by 1. In each of these cases, I have an integer divided by an integer. Okay? Integer, and then divided by an integer. That's a rational number. Now, some of these we are used to writing in different ways, such as 3 tenths, we are used to writing it as a decimal, like this. And negative 4 over 1, we are used to writing it as negative 4. It's an integer. This one, 0 divided by 2, we usually write it as plain 0, okay? But 0, negative 4, or 2, or 3, or 4, all of your whole numbers, integers, are rational numbers. All of your fractions are rational numbers, such as this fraction, or this. Now this also, you can do the division, and you will get some kind of a decimal number. And so that the decimal number is a rational number. In fact, all decimal numbers you use in your normal life are rational numbers. Let me show you some examples. Here's decimal numbers that are all rational numbers. There do exist some decimal numbers that are not rational. But that's not really our topic here. Let me show you first the ones that are, right? 7 tenths. Okay, as the name indicates, it is 7 tenths. It is clearly an integer divided by an integer, or ratio of two integers. The same is true here. Negative 6 tenths. It is the same as negative 6 over 10. So it is a rational number because I was able to write it as a ratio of two integers. This one here, and this one here, let me show you a little trick that um, helps you write these as fractions. Take this whole list of digits without the decimal point and write it on the top. And then the denominator is either 10, 100, 1000, one of the powers of 10, and you check how many digits are here, and that's how many zeros you put here after the 1. 10,000 in this case. There is 627 ten thousandths in this decimal number, but as a single fraction we write it like that. Or here, the only difference is that it has a negative here, so I'll put a negative up here, and then I just copy all those digits, and there's two decimal digits, so that means the denominator would be 100, right? This one here, if you remember what this means, the bar on top, means it's a repeating decimal. It means the threes are repeating, okay, indefinitely. This decimal is a non-ending decimal. It repeats those threes. And is it a rational number? Can we write it as a ratio of two integers? That's a good question, right? If you remember, if you've done this ever before, where you have divided one divided by three, and you got those repeating threes from that long division, then you know that, yes, it can be written as a fraction. This decimal part would be one-third. Now I have here one, so this is the same as one and one-third, which is, of course, four over three as a rational number in this format. Now we need to take a look at negative fractions in a little bit more detail. If I have an integer, negative integer divided by a positive integer, such as here, negative one divided by three, if you remember the rules for division of integers, this answer will be negative. Whatever I get from it is a negative number, okay? And it is actually equal if I divided 1 over negative 3. I would get the same answer, right? Because this 2 will have a negative answer. Both of these will have the same result. I will have negative 1 third as my answer. Or, as a decimal, negative 0 0.33333. Now this here, equally so, it is the same as negative 20 divided by 6. But we usually write the negative sign here in front. 
and then write negative 20 over 6, okay? So that is now a negative fraction, or you could write it as a negative mixed number. Just think of the 20 sixths as a mixed number and then put the negative in front. 20 sixths would be 3, and then it leaves 2 sixths, okay? So negative 3 and 2 sixths.